Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we can have a little chat about luxury and um, in particular luxury things I don't buy <laughs> because well I guess like most of us I don't have unlimited money and so I have to choose where I spend my money. Um, does not mean that one day I don't hope I will have unlimited amounts of money. I can just buy everything I want without having to think about it. But um, I'm not sure this will ever happen, and for most of us it won't anyway. And so I wanted to share this with you. Of course, if you have unlimited amount of money, then this video is most certainly not interesting for you because you can just buy everything. But yeah, again, that's not my case. And um, there is a few particular things I choose not to buy um, because they don't necessarily make sense for me uh, with my lifestyle, with my style, with with my budget, with this kind of things. Could be different for you, of course. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So one first thing where I will not go for luxury prices um, is generally everything where um, the thing could get destroyed easily. By that, I mean, typically it will be um, my rain, snow things. So I want for a pair of shoes in which I'm gonna go in the snow or in the rain, I'm not gonna spend thousands of euros uh, because that's what a pair of boots uh, from Chanel or a brand like that costs. It's thousands of euros. Um, no, for a pair that I know will do one, two years and they will go destroyed because uh, even if I use all the sprays of the world and everything, the snow, the water will get through, will damage the leather, of course. So it does not mean I won't, um, I will go for something very cheap because I still want my feet to stay warm and I still want my feet to stay dry. So I will go uh, for, for something nice. I, I will spend a, a bit money on it, but I will not go for luxury crazy prices. Um, I will go for something typical, uh, like typically made for the snow from a brand that's for example a specialist in it. Um, that's what I will go for. And it's the same for coats, for example. Um, if it's a coat that I'm gonna wear all the time when it rains, I might not go for something very luxury. Um, because yeah, a good wool coat, if you put it all the time under the rain, it's, it's at some point, you know, it's gonna get some, this weird smell or it's gonna, I mean, it's not it's not good <laughs> for the for the clothes. So, so there I will not go for, for, for luxury, for something that I intend to wear under rain. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the first thing. I think it kind of makes sense, but it's also a matter of choice because I also understand that on the other hand, it depends where you live. And if you live somewhere, somewhere where it's always rainy and so on, um, yeah, you, you might want to stay stylish even under the rain. Although one could also argue you don't need luxury to be stylish. Um, but if luxury is a strong part of your identity, then it's, of course, a, a different approach to, to the problem. I must admit I'm somewhere where in winter it rains a lot. And, um, yeah, I end up wearing <laughs> my... It's a nice coat that I love, uh, but it's definitely not luxury. Um, and I take out my bit more luxury. I probably have a wool and cashmere, cashmere uh, Burberry coat. I will take this one out when I know it's not going to rain. Um, and also, anyway, I don't know, so I don't, I don't always carry an umbrella, I used to carry an umbrella a lot, but now I have the kids, I have the bags and so on, and I found the freedom of wearing a, a, a coat with a hood pretty nice, because you don't have to still hold your umbrella and then your, your arm gets tired, and when there's a lot of wind, the umbrella is always flying back, uh, it's a bit annoying, and so I found the, yeah, coat with a hood uh, quite freeing again uh, and typically i don't know a lot of luxury brands don't do hoods on their coats i mean uh, unless there are of course some uh, which are sometimes specific for the rain like rain jackets but not all brands do it i'm, I'm been thinking a bit and it's not always so easy to find it so anyway this is not somewhere where i would spend thousands of euro on a coat to just wear it under the rain that was one point. Um, another thing where I don't spend, so if you've seen my luxury handbag collection, you might have noticed one thing I don't have, are uh, patent leather bags. I don't do patent leather bags. Um, I saw a review and actually not, I mean, I saw a video review a time ago and then I also looked it 
uh, looked it a bit more on and found other blog articles or things like that about patent leather bags, including luxury bags, including bags from brands like Dior and so on, where they say that after a while, the patent, the, I don't know, it gets a bit strange. Like one was even showing that it got somehow like sticky or I don't know, a bit different. And you know, I don't want to take the risk with my bags. Um, this is not a risk I'm ready to take. I find it, I think it looks nice and I might uh, go for patent leather maybe once with a cheaper brand. But interestingly, I did not see, I mean, in some of the, let's say a bit cheaper brand where I go to, like for example, uh, Longchamp and so on, they don't do much patent leather. Um, so I don't own anything in patent leather. And if I buy a bag in patent leather, it will not be luxury um, because I will not take the risk, very simply. Um, similarly, if you've seen another video I showed, I will not go, I think, again, as long as I'm not having money growing in the tree on my garden, um, I won't uh, go for um, very fragile colors or fabrics. Uh, for example, I will not go for a bag um, from Dior in satin, you know, because satin is very fragile also as a fabric. It's, it's a really, really fragile fabric. And so I will not go for this kind of material for luxury bags. Um, I will also not go for very fragile colors, uh, for example, white. Typically is not um, something where I will go for Dior and um, Louis Vuitton Fendi prices. Um, which doesn't mean you cannot get great white bags. So I bought a few months ago one from De Meulier in white that I love. I've been wearing it a lot. Um, and it was not cheap. I mean, De Meulier is not a cheap brand, but it's not this crazy luxury uh, level of prices. And so this is, um, I would not go for white for this kind of, of things. To be honest, um, a, pr a price point like, like De Meulier, for example, I'm, I will go for a white bag, but I will still not go for something as fragile as satin or something like that. Um, you know, this glittery, smooth, very smooth uh, fabric. There, I would really not... I will really not spend a lot of money. I will really not take a risk. But the issue is, I think it's the kind of thing where if you don't spend a lot of money, it might also not look so good. So sometimes it's better to just refrain, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, but so for me, it's this is something where I will be very, very, very careful. Um, then I'm looking because I wrote down some some of them to try not to not to forget too much. Sports things. Yes, I don't buy luxury sports. I don't. Um, I might put some money into it because I think it's good to have good equipment for sports. It, it's helpful and it's sometimes also important, you know, for for your body also while you're doing sport to have appropriate good quality equipment. But I will not go for um, Chanel skis. I will not go for the Celine uh, tennis uh, racket. I mean, it's it's lovely, and if you have the money for it, go for it. I mean, sure. Um, for me, it does not make much sense. Uh, just don't. <laughs> just does not make sense for me to spend this kind of money there. Um, it's the same. You can also see uh, Fendi and so on. They also do snow suits. They also will do uh, really like just sport outfits. And um, no, I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna sweat in that thing. I will have to wash it uh, quite strongly to be sure that it's really clean after sweating in inside it. Um, no, no, no. And I would rather spend that money somewhere else because again, we start from the point that we don't have unlimited money and we need to make priorities. And so, no, I will buy specialized brands for them. I will spend good money if needed, quality money, but I will not go for luxury prices. Uh, no, no. <laughs> um, then another thing are sneakers. I actually don't buy luxury sneakers. But this is a very personal reason in the sense that I don't wear a lot of sneakers. I'm not a very big sneaker person. I have one pair of sneakers um, that I bought from Adidas. I'm very happy with them. Um, but otherwise, I'm, I'm not a big sneaker wearer. So it does not make much sense for me to go for luxury prices for, for my sneakers because typically my sneakers are also shoes I will wear when I will need to go in the mud or when I will need to go do things where I'm going to get dirty <laughs> and so I won't do that with luxury designer sneakers obviously so then it will not make much sense for me to, to 
go for, for, for that. I know this is very different. I know um, a lot of uh, other influencers I follow, for example, uh, on YouTube too and so on. They love uh, designer sneakers and some are really looking very, very pretty. I mean, there's also a pair for Hermes that looks amazing. But what the point for me, you know? Um, yeah. So I snap my fingers and I keep my money. <laughs> Um, and then um, let me have a look what I had other ah yes um, basics um, I don't necessarily go basic clothes I mean I don't necessarily go for um, luxury I will not go for luxury for a simple white t-shirt um, I don't need to go to Louisville I mean of course you will have the logo for sure I'm not a big logo person either so she said while well, wearing a Ralph Lauren polo. But I don't buy because of the logo, it's just I like the style. Uh, and there is not so many other brands which are doing this uh, typical thing with this quality and so on. Um, so it's, it's just, it's not about the logo, it's more about the article itself. And for a classic white t-shirt, unless it has something really other specific other than the brand, which makes me want this specific one, but otherwise, I don't need for a nice cotton t-shirt to go to them. There are other brands, they will not necessarily always be cheap because basics are surprisingly hard to, to do well. Um, but they will not necessarily be, I don't remember, I think I saw the Loewe or Prada ones are around four or 500 euros a t-shirt. Maybe I'm wrong, you can correct me in the comment section, but they are very expensive. And I think for 100 euros, which is already a lot of money for a simple white t-shirt, um, you can get really great ones. So you don't need to go to these crazy prices. And even, for example, I like Uniqlo for the basics and they do great ones and they are like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. And they do great, great things. So yeah, basics, I will not, I will not go for luxury. Um, yeah. And as long as we're speaking about clothes, something I anyway don't do with luxury is um, buy full price clothes luxury because they lose so much value. This is the one place where they lose a lot of value. An exception might be some brands like Chanel and Dior where it might lose a bit less of its value. But it's crazy uh, what, you will, what you will find. Um, so you will have often sales on clothes. Brands will do sales. So that's the first option. You can simply wait for the sales. You can also um, check for the outlets. Um, some have really outlet shops around, so Burberry has outlet shops, for example, and so on. Um, or you have also websites like The Outlet, uh, where you will not have all kind of luxury, but they typically have, for example, Valentino, Dolce & Gabbana, I've seen, I've seen Gucci, I've seen um, Miu Miu, no, not Miu Miu, they, they do not have Miu Miu. But they will have uh, the, some of these brands, and I'm sure there are other websites, I just don't know all of them. Um, so you will can buy simply past seasons uh, at discount price, often at least 50%, even 70% sometimes. And there will be sales on the outlet too, so if you want, you can even wait for that. Um, another alternative, if you're not close to it, is of course second hand. Uh, you can get really great deals. Um, I got uh, once a Prada pullover, uh, so there's no big Prada logo on it, but again, this is not necessarily what I was looking for anyway. Uh, and I paid it, so it's 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 100% wool, and I think I paid 90 euro for it, 18, 90 euro, something like that. So I had no problem, I don't care that it was Prada, uh, it was a very nice thick wool pullover. 90 euro is definitely a good price for such a pullover, and if on top of that it's Prada, then it's kind of the cherry on the cake. So, but it's just to show you how much clothes can lose their value. So for me, it's not really worth spending a lot of money, because the resale value is terrible and you will use them you will go through them i mean i love my clothes i wear them a lot um i'm not i'm not someone who wears the clothes one season and sells them then of course then your di dynamic might be different um but if you're like me and you just buy things because you just simply like them and you just want to wear them for several years independently from trends then it's just not worth buying the luxury because well they are just clothes they will get used you might make a hole in them you might make a stain um, they will get rubbed they will get they will just simply get used and um, it's a lot of money uh, for something that we just basically have a life expectancy which is not that long compared to let's say a bag or a pair of shoes um, so yeah 
I will not spend uh, full time money on clothes luxury not at all and I have yeah typically prices I'm ready to spend on the articles and if I find luxury matching within my price point then great but I will not pay the prices they are new in shops so yeah that was kind of my list of uh, luxury things where that I don't buy um, where I just keep my fingers away I don't know what I use. If you have any, uh, please uh, let me know in the comment section below. And if you disagree with some of my points, please also um, feel free to disagree in the comment section below. It always uh, brings interesting conversations. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will put here another one in case you have not seen it yet. And if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel to see my next videos by clicking here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.